as soon as you arrive at 101 Market Street, in front of the Federal Reserve Bank in San Francisco. It's obvious that something is happening, something real and potent and persistent. The revolution is upon you. It's right here in your very neighborhood. It's the site of the Occupy SF protest camp, an offshoot of the Occupy Wall Street protests that began in New York on September 17th and have since spread across the country. The small band of individuals has grown into a movement. In San Francisco, a cluster of people sit, stand, sleep, and shout in solidarity. You're impossible. way beyond protest, we have like community, people coming together, we're able to feed anybody here, there's a donation, everybody's getting fed, everybody gets what they need. Uh. While there are no official demands at this time, the general sentiment is of dissatisfaction with the state of America today. Business is down, we bailed out banks, uh, but pe people like me, whole towns and cities are out of work and, and having to give their houses back to the banks. Mm -hmm. um, the banks don't want to work with us in any realistic, meaningful way, even after they got bailed out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I'm angry. The emphasis is on social and economic inequality and injustices, and the influence and perceived greed of corporations. But the demands of individual protesters are diverse and far-reaching, encompassing the very culture of politics and society as a whole. This movement is about um, standing up against the banks, standing up against the corporate fascist um, entities that have overtaken our government and our political process through our politicians, and it's really about creating awareness as well. If we can just wake people up and realize that our planet is in danger, our humanity, our very souls, and our ability to feel love for one another is in danger. I've been an activist most of my life, so having the people finally rise up and realize that our government has some real problems really makes me feel good that people finally get it. The level of change protesters want to see could take years, but they don't seem to mind. Many have waited long enough to be heard, and now they're in it for the long haul. A lot of people have come up to me and just said, keep being out there, you've given us hope, you know? We have something important to say, and therefore we're occupying.